Hello everyone, I'll be showing you today how you can UV map on Roblox Studio with an easy way. Today we'll be working on this RX7 FD and we'll, making, we'll be making a UV map for the hood. To begin with, you will have to have Blender open and you must have an application that can take uh, images in layers like this layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 so let's begin first of all you'll have to move your car to 0 0 for example if it says X number Y does not matter and Z number you'll have to change the X to, to 0 and the Y to 0 Now that you have done that, you can hold right, right alt and click your hood. You find if you have an opening hood that you have click and your hinge, you have to go to your paint and you also have to export that. Let's call it hood. Now you're done with studio for now. You can go into your studio, uh, your blender apologies then import obj hood now you find that your hood has been imported into blender you'll have to remove the mtl to begin with then you'll have to go to uv editing make sure this is on object mode now click on new then set this to 1024 times by 2 which becomes 4048 then click OK then you can zoom out now you see that it's a blank it's a black um, square now you'll have to click on your hood and go into edit mode and before to, before we begin You'll have to sync it. There is the sync button over there. Now that you have synced it, you see that there is a couple of dots down here where you'll have you're gonna have to drag it up like this and you reach the box. Now that you have reached the box, you can rotate it because this is how you're gonna see it inside of your of your ed uh, image editing software so let's say I want it to be 90 degrees the other way or 180 degrees there we go 180 degrees and remember you have flexibility on what to do now you have selected everything that you need but sometimes there are underbodies to these um, hoods. So you'll have to move it again just as a precaution. Then if you see next to the edit mode, you, there is selection of vertices, edges, and faces. You'll have to select the faces. And as I specified before in my tutorials, you can press C to get out your brush tool and select the faces. Now that it's now that it is selected, you can press escape and go back. Hold on. Keep it as faces, do not return it to vertices. Now that you have um, changed it, you see those areas over here? These areas are generally a part of the underbody which you cannot see. So you can select them like this and move them all close to each other but not to touch each other. So you can say something like this.
just remember where they are. Now that you have your UV map set, you are going to go to this camera icon over here, which is scene, and you'll have to change your render engine to cycles. From here, you'll have to go to bake. Then, change the margin size to zero. Change the, the bake type to normal and change tangent to object. If you want this black background, you can uh, deselect clear image. But if you do not want it, you can click on clear image. From now, you'll have to click bake. Bake may be a bit slow on your computer or fast. It depends on how powerful your computer is. If you get a problem like this, that's, it says no active image found in material slot for hood. This is a very common mistake. You'll have to go over to layout, then go over to materials, which is the sphere over here. Click new, then you'll, you'll see base color. Click on the dot, image texture, then you'll see a drop down list. Select untitled. Go back to UV and then click bake. Now that it's done, you'll see that there's an image on here. You see that you can click on image, then save as, then go to your folder, call it, for example, hood.png, save image. Now you go back to layout. You'll have to, this is a must, you, you'll have to export your OBJ. Then call it, for example, hood1 or hood v1, whatever you want. Then you can go to mesh ID and import the new one. Now that you have imported it, you see that there is a, a new texture on it which is relatively new. You'll have to remove that texture. Now you see that it's normal again. Now this comes into play where you have to open your hood and you see that your hood is here now. You go open it and you make a new layer. Now you'll have to make whatever you wanted or for example, if you have any images or branding or anything like that on it. For here, I'll just uh, write subscribe. Subscribe. And I'll set the color to be white. Now that I have finished what I wanted, you'll have to deselect your old background and you'll see that there is only the thing that you have created. Now you'll have to go over here, save as, then you have to change this into PNG, call it hood1, or whatever you want, flatten. Then you'll have, now this is something tricky you will have to make depending on the part that you're making. You'll have to duplicate this part, add in the texture, the new texture, create. Now you see that the new texture has it's entirely colored and you cannot change the color of it. No problem. All you have to do is, depending on the Y axis, Z axis or the X axis, you just move it one bit. So you see this one is 328. Make it 329. Now you see that it, it covers all the paint and you don't want that. 
we change the transparency to 0 0.1. And congratulations, you have made a clean UV map of your hood. You can change the color below into whatever you want and still maintain a crisp and clean and flush UV mapping. If you like this video, make sure to like it, comment what you want to see next. And if you need anything, let me know in the server that I will link down below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.